Okay, in stock form, the fuel injected four cylinder first gen troopers, uh, the fuel pump is only going to run under two conditions. One is going to be when you're actually cranking the vehicle over to start it. Okay, and I don't mean like in a Chevy where you turn the key on and you hear it run for two, three seconds, you know, bzzz, and then it shuts off. I mean, when you're physically turning the motor over, when you're cranking it, it's going to send a signal to the ECM to fire the fuel pump up through the fuel pump relay. And then once the engine starts and the motor's turning, there's a diode in the alternator which sends a signal to the ECM to tell it to continue running the fuel pump. Those both activate the same circuit. The cranking of the motor and the engine actually running is what signals the ECM to keep the fuel pump running. Now, it's very common that uh, the diode in the alternator will go bad and so you get a condition where you'll start the car up and it'll start and run for just a couple seconds and then shut off. Um, this can be problematic even if you go get a new alternator you know, a lot of times they don't check them for that when they're rebuilding them. They just check to make sure that the alternator is charging. So you might have an alternator that's charging fine, that the auto part says, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Your truck still won't run. There is actually a really simple solution to this problem. Okay, just inside the driver's fender, you'll find the fuse and relay block. Fuel pump relay is the front relay there. Pull a little tab here wiggle this thing out okay if you take a jumper wire like this you'll now have switched power meaning when you turn the key on and all the lights come on the dash your fuel pump will run I have run troopers like this forever basically just you know I don't even mess with the alternator circuit I just continue to run them like this day in and day out um, you know bear in mind the Isuzu did that for safety concerns so that when the motors you know, if you're in an accident and the engine shuts off or whatever, if there's a fire, um, you know, this could be problematic. That's all hypothetical. So I'll leave that up to you. If you put it right here, this will give you power straight from the battery. So that will run the fuel pump nonstop, no matter what, until you disconnect the battery. And that one will give you switched power.